It sounds like a hybrid between that and a little bit. And uh, uh, memory. <laughs> what, what did you the learn? Name. If you can speak to it, maybe you can't yet, but what did you learn watching these people um, in communication and watching them just coexist this way? What were some... You know, something that, something that I'd, I'd noticed from going to war, right? And being around, like working alongside uh, Iraqis and Afghans and with, where we have very different custom cultures, beliefs, um, when you are in extreme circumstances, uh, you know, the good people sort of, uh, show their true color. Well, everybody shows their true colors, but you gravitate towards those that you trust, you know, and those that are, uh, ge genuinely just good people at their core. And, you know, um, in those situations, we wouldn't be willing to take a bullet for you, mm -hmm. you know, even though we, we agree on maybe very little, uh, when we have, when we sit down and have a conversation about what we think is right, wrong, um, there's still like that, that we kind of find in each other. And I think in this show, I saw that as well, quite a bit, like these people that, you know, they're going to put aside the similarities they maybe have with other people on the raft that like, okay, you and I, like we, we believe in, you know, we both voted this way and we believe in the same, um, uh, religious practices and all that. And then this person who I have nothing, maybe nothing in common, but like for whatever reason, they, they seem more selfless, you know, and, and more about the team. And I just, that's more important to me right now, because right now we need to get through this situation. So maybe in normal life where it's not as extreme circumstances, it's not, I mean, the, the show wasn't really life and death, but, um, maybe in some ways, I mean, it's, it's, it was, you know, there was a, there's a, a survival aspect to it. So seeing that as people that, that end up gravitating towards each other, who normally you'd never see having a conversation or, you know, together in anything, walking down the street, whatever. Um, they're just, I think watching them grow, you know, was huge. Watching them kind of put, put that stuff away. That's just that auxiliary stuff's not really who we are. Um, and, and kind of get past it. That was, that was really interesting. Well, one thing I like about the concept of that is one of the things I've said is, you know, in 2023, in a lot of areas, there's just not that many real issues that we have to deal with life and death. Where's the food coming from kind of things. And so we do let a lot of these issues create themselves that really would never exist if we were all worried about where we were going to get our next meal from or you know, and that's why a lot of other countries don't have right the similar <laughs> uh issues that we have from in that from that standpoint because they're they dealing with five worry about five you know food water shelter medical care education mm -hmm. you know where we've we're not perfect in those worlds but we have access to for the most part mm -hmm. pretty much everybody mm -hmm. or a lot of parts of the world like like for with, with water boys you know the, the lack of access to clean water, which feeds so many of those other things like that, with that being your core, uh, issue, uh, I think you're not worried about this. <laughs> yeah. You don't have time. You're like, where are we getting water today? Yeah, you know? Exactly. We're going to all go do this together.